MetaMask. If you have MetaMask, then be ready to copy paste the address on the dashboard. If you don't have, then watch this. Get started, create a new wallet. Agree. Create a password. See, my wallet is being created. I have created my wallet. No, I don't want to take a tour. Okay. I am not. Okay, I will also do the security thing because the problem is if you don't uh, get your security, uh, your, your key phrase backup, then it will be a problem. Then your MetaMask will be lost and then you will lose all your NFT miners and then uh, no complaints can be registered and then no one can recover it because it's not something where you can raise a ticket and it will come back no it is all on a decentralized blockchain nothing can be retrieved if it is gone so make sure that you are very particular with your address okay i'll save so this is the key phrase when you when you create a metamask wallet now we will, I will note it down. Do not take a picture and keep it with you. Write it down on a piece of paper and keep it safe with you so that when, when you lose the password, when you lose your device, your cell phone, you, you can retrieve. I will also give some suggestions. Do one thing, create a wallet, log in in your cell phone, also in your computer and keep it active in both the places so that if you lose your cell phone which you which so many people uh, tend to lose easily because it's small so it will be on your computer so it will be safe also write the key phrase and keep the key phrase very safe with you okay now i will enter okay first was junk Rotate, crumble, actor, sadness, sadness peace, peace, design, design settle, focus, shallow, hello, proof. proof. Oh. Congratulations. Yay. Okay, done. Now that I have created a MetaMask wallet for myself, okay, don't worry, I'm not going to make any transactions on this. If you have got my key phrase, keep it with you. <laughs> okay, now you have to go here. Okay, let me annotate. This is your explorer of the MetaMask. You go here and paste the DAP address. This is a test. So we will do the test address, the live address, when I will give, then you can paste. But we need to first set here uh, a very basic thing that we need to know how to generate an address. When you can't do for the test, you can't do it for the real. So I want 1,000 people to generate their addresses right now and log into your We Are All Satoshi dashboard and submit the address. David, if you can show, uh, because I don't have a We Are All Satoshi account, I have a test account. So David, if you can, let me first demonstrate how to copy the address and then you show how to create the address and paste it, okay? Yeah. Thanks, man.
where is the DAP address? Here it is. Okay, so this DAP address is dropped in the chat. If you go in chat, you will find the DAP address. I'm opening the chat right now so that someone can drop the uh, DAP address and I'll close the chat immediately. Can anyone drop the DAP address? Yep. No, I don't want Solomon. Uh, I don't want the blockchain address. Okay, Amit has dropped the DAP address. Okay, this is it. Perfect. Thank you, Vasim. Thank you. Okay, this is the DAP address. When you enter the DAP address into your MetaMask Explorer and click on Go, you will reach here where my screen is going. And some of the very intelligent people have done uh, wrong address submission. I was I was seeing. <laughs> I wanted to, uh, you know, show the names of people who have submitted the wrong address. Okay, all right. When you reach here, when you see the DAP, you get an option to connect wallet. This blue one right here, when you click on connect wallet, your MetaMask wallet will be connected to the DAP. I will demonstrate how. We will do it again. Don't worry. If you are slow, David will do it again. Click on MetaMask. You will be asked to connect. Now your account, your your account, your MetaMask wallet is connected to the DAP. Now that we are connected to the DAP, we need to change the network because we are not operating on Ethereum address, Ethereum network. We have our own blockchain. We don't need to use Ethereum chain to, uh, to do our transactions. So when we click on this Ethereum logo right here, we will get two options. We will get Bitcoin code to switch our network into. When we switch the network into Bitcoin code and click on confirm, then this option will be there to add the blockchain. Trust me, ask, ask people if they have ever added a new blockchain. They have not seen this simple option. I made this very simple just like uh, you know, every kid can do it. So this is not how easily the new network is added when the network is not registered or when it is new. So the process is very simple. It is to ensure that everyone does that. When you click on approve, your new network is added. And now I can switch to Bitcoin code whenever i will when i i will click to switch i will get this message which i am not getting okay i'll go go to my metamask again i hope it will show me see this message will appear that you have switched to Bitcoin code. When you see this message, right? Your DAP will show this. Let it load. In eight more minutes, we will finish this basic training. And I want everyone to, after this Zoom, 1,000 people, go to your downlines, ask them to create the address, give them training, go on calls tonight. I want all 15,000 miners, more than 15,000 miners to submit their addresses because this is for real. See, if you lose or if you get your NFT minted 
uh, somewhere else or if you don't get minted then it will be uh, it will not be good we have worked so hard for this so this is what you see then you go to your wallet you see btcc you see bitcoin code on the top and then this address is your btcc address this is the test address okay we are doing this for the testing once you copy it and then you take it on vro satoshi dashboard and paste it you will be done and then we will do the same with the live net with the main blockchain 